The swamps and wetlands of the southeastern United States are teeming with life, a vibrant tapestry of flora and fauna that thrive in these unique environments. Among the most fascinating and misunderstood creatures found there is the cottonmouth snake, also known as the water moccasin, a name that evokes both curiosity and fear. Often feared for its venomous bite and defensive displays, the cottonmouth plays a crucial role in the delicate balance of these ecosystems, acting as both predator and prey. This serpent, with its stout body and distinctive white mouth lining, is more than just a fearsome predator. It is a marvel of adaptation, perfectly suited to its watery world. It is a vital part of the food web, helping to control populations of rodents, fish, and amphibians, thus maintaining the ecological balance. Understanding the cottonmouth, its behavior and its importance is key to appreciating the complexity and beauty of these vital habitats. Observing its interactions within the ecosystem reveals much about the health of the environment. By dispelling myths and shedding light on the truth about this often maligned creature, we can foster respect and promote coexistence between humans and this important inhabitant of our wetlands. Education and awareness are crucial in changing perceptions. The Cottonmouth story is one of adaptation, resilience, and ecological significance, a story that deserves to be told and understood. It is a testament to the intricate web of life that sustains our planet. The cottonmouth is a robust snake, typically reaching lengths of two to four feet, though some individuals can grow even larger under optimal conditions. Their stout bodies are adorned with dark crossbands that provide excellent camouflage amongst the shadows and vegetation of their swampy homes, making them nearly invisible to both predators and prey. These bands, often described as saddles, can vary in color from dark brown to almost black, blending seamlessly with their surroundings. This natural camouflage is crucial for their survival in the wild. Perhaps the most striking feature of the cotton mouth is the brilliant white lining of its mouth, the namesake characteristic that gives it its common name. This feature is not just for show, but serves a critical purpose in their defense strategy. This stark white interior is revealed when the snake feels threatened, gaping its jaws wide in a defensive display that is both impressive and intimidating. This display is often enough to deter potential threats without the need for a bite. The cottonmouth's venom is a potent cocktail of toxins designed to subdue prey and aid in digestion. This venom allows the snake to efficiently break down its prey, making it easier to consume and digest. This venom is hematoxic, meaning it primarily affects the circulatory system by breaking down blood cells and preventing clotting. The hematoxin can cause severe tissue damage and pain, which helps incapacitate the prey quickly. While a bite from a cottonmouth can be serious, even fatal if left untreated, these snakes are not naturally aggressive towards humans and will only bite in self-defense. They prefer to avoid confrontation and will often retreat if given the chance. The cottonmouth is a true denizen of the southeastern United States, its range stretching from southeastern Virginia down to Florida and westward to eastern Texas. These snakes are particularly abundant in the coastal plains, where they thrive in the warm, humid environments of swamps, marshes, and slow-moving rivers. As their alternative name, water moccasin suggests, cottonmouths are highly adapted to aquatic life. They are strong swimmers, often seen gliding gracefully through the water with only their heads exposed, resembling the deadly moccasins worn by some Native American tribes. Their keeled scales provide excellent traction in water, allowing them to navigate their watery realm with ease. Cottonmouths are equally at home on land, frequently basking on logs, rocks, or even overhanging branches to soak up the sun's warmth. They are often found near the water's edge, patiently waiting to ambush unsuspecting prey that ventures too close to the shoreline. Despite their fearsome reputation, cottonmouths are not inherently aggressive snakes. They are often misunderstood due to their defensive behaviors. They are, however, highly defensive and will readily stand their ground if they feel threatened. This defensive nature is a survival mechanism. When confronted, a cottonmouth will often coil its body, vibrate its tail, and gape its jaws wide, displaying the startling white interior that gives them their name. This display is meant to ward off potential threats. This defensive display is often misinterpreted as aggression, leading to the common misconception that cottonmouths are aggressive pursuers of humans. In reality, they are simply trying to protect themselves. 
In reality, these snakes would much rather avoid confrontation and will only bite as a last resort if they feel cornered or threatened. Their primary goal is to escape danger. Another common myth is that cottonmouths can chase people on land. This myth has been perpetuated by exaggerated stories and misunderstandings. While they are capable of moving quickly in short bursts, they are not built for sustained speed on land and will not actively pursue humans. Their movements are more about finding safety. It is important to remember that cottonmouths, like all snakes, are an integral part of their ecosystem and play a vital role in maintaining a healthy balance within their environment. They help control the populations of their prey and contribute to the biodiversity of their habitats.